Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Joseph's Point of View, where we focus on human angel stories from the Carolinas and beyond. Today it's Wednesday and it's October the 6th, 2021. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you're new to my channel, I'd like to extend to you a warm welcome. Thank you so much for dropping by. And if you're a returning viewer, by all means, thank you for coming back. I always say that here on the YouTube streets, the tide changes frequently from one second to another. So it's important to acknowledge where your support comes from. And I want to tell you, I sincerely thank you for your support. Feel free to like and to share this video. And don't forget to subscribe. Thank you. And our story today comes from Fort Bragg here in North Carolina. Take a look at the headline. And it reads, two Fort Bragg paratroopers dead in two days. I'll provide you with a summary here. And as always, I'll place links to a few of the full articles in the description box. This has been a week of unimaginable sadness here for the Fort Bragg community because we have had two paratroopers to die in the first two days of this week. It was on Monday evening we learned that a paratrooper was killed and four others were injured in an accident that involved a military vehicle and the accident happened around 1 p.m. in the afternoon. Specifics about the accident was not disclosed, but today we learned the identity of that deceased soldier. That soldier was identified as Private First Class Patrick J. Hernandez, age 30, a native of Hollingdon, Texas. He was assigned as a military policeman on Fort Bragg, and he had just recently graduated from Airborne School at Fort Benning, Georgia. Private First Class Hernandez was a husband and a father of four children. He enlisted in the Army in August of 2020, and after he completed his military training, Fort Bragg was his first military assignment. It does not appear that he was deployed, or at least I should say, there was no mention in the press release as to whether or not he had been deployed, even though he had been here for a very short time. But to those who knew him, they describe him as a great mentor and a great father. The Bragg leadership has issued a statement of condolence to his family and friends in Hollingdon, Texas, as well as to his extended family here on Fort Bragg. And as we are trying to come to terms with this accident and reflecting on this young man and a life that was lost and the pain that his family most likely is experiencing to learn of his passing and wondering why Fort Bragg did not release more information, the sad news came once again. And on Tuesday evening, we received the news that one of our paratroopers was found dead in his apartment on post. And this was the second paratrooper death to be reported in two days this week. We had one Monday, and now we had one on Tuesday. Oh my gosh, what's going on? This time we learned that Sergeant First Class Michael Hamilton, age 35, was found dead in his on-post apartment. And this announcement came on Tuesday evening, and it appears that this incident took place around lunchtime or uh, in the early in the afternoon. We learned from a press release at Fort Bragg that the emergency medical personnel arrived at Sergeant First Class Hamilton's on-post apartment, and he was pronounced deceased. Obviously, quite a bit of information is still missing here. There are many unanswered questions but this is the only information released as it pertains to the circumstances related to his death. And it's very probable we may not have any additional information released. So I'm just sharing with you what has been reported thus far. Sergeant First Class Hamilton is a native of Plano, Texas. He was assigned to headquarters and headquarters battalion as a fire support specialist. It appears he joined the Army sometime around 2005 or 2006 time frame. His first assignment after completing his basic training at Fort Sillard, Oklahoma, was with the 1st of the 319 Field Artillery Battalion here on Fort Bragg. And he recently returned to the Fort Bragg community after an overseas support mission in Afghanistan. And it was earlier this year, 2020 that he returned to Fort Bragg. So he had only been here for a few months this time. His prior assignments included Germany, Fort Hood, Alaska, and of course, Fort Sill, Oklahoma. His numerous military achievements are well represented in this picture. And as you can see from his chest, he was a well-decorated non-commissioned officer. And I notice he's adorned with both Army and Navy Achievement Medal. So who knows, maybe he has served 
uh, and dual, dual service, branch of service. It was reported that Sergeant First Class Hamilton was not married and he survived by his parents in Plano, Texas, and of course, the host of extended family and friends in Texas, as well as right here in the Fort Bragg community. The commander issued a statement saying that Sergeant First Class Hamilton had dedicated his life to serving his country and did so with great distinction. His loss will be felt by many in the Army as well as all of the all-American family. And we joined the Fort Bragg community in extending our prayers and a message of condolence to his family and friends as well. You know, sometimes we find ourselves asking why, and we keep searching for answers that may never come. But for now, we must accept the fact as they are without really understanding the reason behind them. Two young lives were lost this week, and we may never really know the real circumstances surrounding their death, but sometimes the public does not need all the details. As long as their families provided with that information, that's what's really important. Funeral plans are not yet available. And sadly, we bid farewell once more to two of our heroes who have served their country honorably. So Sergeant First Class Michael B. Hamilton and Private First Class Patrick J. Hernandez, rest well, my friends. And thank you for your service. And that's all I have for you right now. Feel free to leave me a comment below and let me know what you think about this video. And by all means, feel free to like it and to share it. And if you haven't done so already, I want to invite you to subscribe to my channel by clicking on that red subscribe button. It's on the bottom right hand corner of your screen. And if you click on this notification bell right here, you'll be the first to know whenever a new video is uploaded. I thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.